Hey, welcome back to Skill Tree, and we're back again with more Alien Isolation. Nothing so far. Oh, Wait, damn. You made a bleep. Nothing so far. Welcome back to Dan looking over his shoulders, the game. This is a very paranoia and decent game. It's one of those games where, like, you don't have to be crouching all the time, but you want to. <laughs> oh, Dan, don't worry, because we've already shown that you will die at the first sight of the alien. So uh, a lot of this gameplay is going to hinge on you not being seen because you don't run away very well. All right, there's another uh, Robo-Man. A Robotman? A Robotman. A Robotman. Hey, just ignore us, uh, Danger Will Robinson and all don't, that. Don't make me do it, sir. Nice, no, fine. Okay. Now, this is one thing I do remember from the game. What's from, that? From my time playing. You see this vent, Adam? You see yeah. this vent right here? Is it going to pop out? Uh, well, sometimes. It was doing it, <laughs> it, it was doing it before, but, uh, but it's gone now. But, like, drool will start coming down the vent, and that means he's waiting to do an ambush. Or should I say she's waiting to do an ambush? I don't... I don't know. The, I was going to ask, the drool is acidic, isn't it? There was only one movie where, like, there, anything besides their blood was acid, and that was uh, Alien, the fourth Alien movie. Was it Rebirth or something? Whatever it was called. Now, Dan, I'm pretty sure that movie never happened. A lot of people want to believe that. <laughs> Funny enough, it was directed by Joss yeah. Whedon, who's normally on part of really good movies, but that ain't one. Really? That was directed by Joss Whedon? I believe it was, yes. Go away. That's Go away. Go very away. disappointing. Okay, so... Nobody's gonna hurt me. Everything's fine. You see nothing. You're a robot. Robots oh, Dan. Are... No. Someone's gonna hurt you. It's just not gonna be him. Alright. Alright. Uh -huh. Hey, how you doing? Don't we all? Everything's fine. Everything's good. I'm happy. You're happy. You happy, Adam? I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Everything's fine. Uh. I'm getting by. I mean, you know, watching you suffer is kind of like... What's that German word, schadenfreude? Because you watched me suffer through the Undertale playthrough. Uh, I forgot how to lean. I'd really like if I remembered how to lean. I remember how to lean. Uh, go away. <laughs> go away. Go away. Go away! The very eventful episode we have so far. He won't go away, Adam. He's standing right there like some sort of robot. God, jeez. He's got, like, scary red eyes. Uh, go. He's not even moving. <laughs> Let's see if I can just cheese him. I'm cheesing. See? See me cheese. Oh, he saw it. The cheese went bad, Adam. Oh, wow, that... Those are some very, uh, intimidating eyes. Well, he saw me. Oh, run, run, I'm, Dan. I'm past you. Oh, God. Yes. Stop punching, stop punching. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Nice knowing you. Everything's fine. Cheese it! This is the secret to Dan's technique. Run directly into the enemy. I, f I forgot where we were going. Am I going this way? I guess I am. I'll run if I want to, buddy. I'm already gone. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. Is this where I'm supposed to be? I think this is where I'm supposed to be. That robot was not very determined to get you. No, he kind of gave up. He's just like, whatever. I'll attack him if he comes directly into my <laughs> face. You know, if it's just like, if he walks right into my grasp, yeah, then I'll get him. Uh, well, it was... It was bound to happen eventually, because remember the last couple of guys? It was like, you don't see me, you don't see me, clearly see me, just walk past. Oh my god. It's a little weird where their line of sight is. Okay. I believe this is correct. But we need to take a med kit, because Ripley had a boo-boo. Robo-boo-boo. A robo-boo. 
Real Barubo. All those things just look like lightsabers to me. Well, you said that about the med kit, and that was the med kit. But remember, the alien, he showed up here a couple times, so we're not gonna stay around too long. I'm honestly expecting him to just be tiptoeing behind you at this point. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Is there anything in this? No. Anybody gonna get it? Anyone wants to? Okay. You can feel Dan's paranoia as he, like, jumps around in his view. Like, huh! All right, now I remember what we're doing. We have to go find our two British friends, because one of them has a much worse Robaboo. And hopefully, the alien will not jump out of the vent right now! All right, everything's fine. Or is it? It is. Oh my god, dude. I can't tell if you're overacting or if you're actually this paranoid right now. Uh, a little of both. Okay, here's a safe station. That's good. That's good. That's a good thing. And no hostiles nearby. That's a double good thing. And safe. Although it sounds like it's right on top of me. Station serving seeks and communication technologies. Hey, what do you want? More robots. Or not, I no, guess. No, these are just normal guys. How you doing? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, God, they're running. Why oh. are they running? Yeah. Hold, hold. Get in there. Oh, oh, there's something out there. Uh. But what is it? Is it a robot? I'm kind of scared to get out. Because, like, I can sneak past them, but these guys, they're probably just clanking all around. Alright, I think it's safe. Alright. You know, I, I didn't know that we could just encounter random people like that. I thought that this type of game, it's like, whenever you encounter people, they're, you know, behind glass or... Or they're an enemy or they're hostile or something. Yeah, games like this, they usually, like, segregate you. No, there's, like, a few civilians. Not many in the game, from what I remember. The maintenance jacks can be used to divert power inside electrical junction. Alright. Did we go to the right place? I do not know. Yeah, I got nothing, honestly. Open up. Alright, there we go. Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshal Bureau, at six inhabitation suites. No, I'm in the mall. I don't want to be in the mall. Why is there a mall? Well, I mean, this was supposedly somewhere people lived at one point. Yeah, but I don't need a mall right now. I need to get to... Uh, uh, uh. It's right there. Oh, wow, it is. I hope you saved. I did. At the last station. Go away. 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 You about to get fucked up. No, I'm not, because the train is here! And it's gonna open up real soon, you'll see. Any minute now. Okay. <laughs> oh, doors are opening, you're being ripped apart any second now! <laughs> this is fine, everything's fine. Okay. Luckily, aliens don't know how to use trains. Click blueprints, craft devices... Can damage, disable, or distract enemies. Good stuff. Alright, now I think this is where we're supposed to be. 
go to Samuels and Taylor. All right. Door opens, aliens right outside. What do you want? Taylor's over here. Oh, it's you, Samuels. I'm not putting. The, I'm not putting down the gun. Ripley, is that Ripley? At least it's not a robot. Oh, hey, look, it's her. Yeah, she's okay. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's near. It's the most awkward resting angle. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio boost. What if this creature shows up? Well, then we're fucked. Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. Dang you, Apollo! Darn you, Adama! That's a Battlestar Galactica reference. You would have known that, Adam, because you don't like anything good. Implying you do. There's little time to waste, Ripley. Oh, shut up, Sam. Who took the time to make that? Make what? Like this little graffiti, like at the base of the stair here. Oh, I don't know. It's not even at like eye height. Like this makes sense. This is up here, but this is like down by your feet. No one's gonna see that. Are you really complaining that somebody made graffiti at like knee level? Yeah, cause like, look, people are dying, as evident by the bodies here. There's an alien going about, <laughs> and like everything's all topsy turvy, and you're doing like things all stupid. Maybe some guy, you know, he just couldn't handle it, so he, like, runs out. He's like, I'm so mad I have to doodle dick butt on the stairs. And he Look, fucking... But I can't get to the people. Because I don't have a plasma torch. Couldn't you just break the glass? No, it's like space glass. Oh, space glass. Well, I'm going to go back to Samuel, see if there was a save point there. It's like I never understood that, like... Oh, check it out. This secure door with tons of glass that could just be broken. That's why you use space glass. I feel like there should be a save station here. Yeah, there's one. And I'm pretty sure the alien won't show up because those are my friends over there. If it does show up, will it just start wrecking them? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what are they going to do? It's like, wait, I'm injured. Time out. All right, which it's way am like, I supposed to be going? That way. Let's explore. Tower link? Transit system. That's the, the train station. Uh, Keep out. Well, I can't get in, so okay. And door's locked. Spooky. There's an audio lock in there, but there's no power to the thingy. You know what's really frustrating is that you could clearly just climb through that open, very large open space. Where? Right next to the door that was locked. What? This? Yeah. It's, it's a window. Space glass, I... Adam. Pay attention to the space glass. I, I can't barely see the glass there. It's so clean. Which is surprising, given the situation. I still say that you should be able to break the space glass with, like... A, a, especially that, that jack thing that you have, the maintenance jack. Or at least the gun. I think the gun could shoot it. No, Adam, it's space glass. It's designed to, like, keep out space and stuff. A, a hammer's not gonna do it. Specifically, say, hey, well, the hammer isn't space, so it shouldn't keep it out. Yeah, but the hammer is not stronger than space. What about that, a space that, hammer? Well, do you have a space hammer, Adam? It probably Ripley doesn't have a space hammer. We got this weird hammer wrench combination thing. The if, maintenance jig. If this game was Dead Island, you could probably, like, take a hammer and then just mix it with some space and then create a space hammer. Oh, look, more space glass. Hey, look, not Jupiter. Yeah, not Jupiter. You. Hey, you. Need some help. I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a... I can't hear you. Hang on. Then why did you ask? Come on, I've opened the elevator for you. 
Okay, hold on, I'm gonna this, explore. This can't possibly be a trap. I- you can wait a second, Sonny Jim. Can I get over here? I want to- I want to get stuff. Uh, it's not letting me get stuff, Adam. I can see stuff right there, Adam. Oh, there's stuff. Wait, is there any space- any space glass guarding that area? No. I should be able to jump this. There's nothing blocking this. As you can see, there's no insert for the glass. I mean, you wouldn't even have to do that much. You could just, like, lift your leg really high over it. Yeah, and Ridley seems more capable of that, but no, 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 we gotta follow the law. Space law, as they call it. Space law number one. You do not break space glass. You respect space boundaries, and you can only have a space hammer under certain permits. to sand Cristobal medical facility. Cristobal. Uh, of course we're in the medical area and everything's like this weird puke green color. Well, this is starting to look more like a uh, a traditional survival horror game where everything is that really drab color all the time. And the setting is always a hospital or a sanatorium or something. Yeah, like basically this is this is become Steam. Destroyer of worlds. I know he told Oh, this is where I was supposed to go. I thought I was exploring. Never mind. Oh god. It's actually doing the head movement. Ugh. Yeah, too much head bobbing. Well, head bobbing's more of like when you're walking. It makes sense like when you're going up a ladder cuz like your head does go all around when you're going up a ladder, but it still it's like, ooh. Yeah, but it feels weird when you experience it while disconnected from the character. Yeah, because my head's still stationary. <laughs> Ow. Alright, where am I going? You want some camera? Okay. Give me that. Alright, I need a key card. Welcome area. I don't feel very welcome. I mean, I still stick by my point that we never should have come here to begin with. Yeah, I mean, like, we're just here to get a black box. Black box was not done well. You're not catching us Right. What kind of comment or whatever? The gist, the gist of this game story is... Just let it go, or aliens will eat you. Yeah, it's just like... In the whole alien setting, it's just like, stay home. Don't go into places, because bad stuff happens. Most of the time, bad stuff does not happen on Earth. On Earth. Yeah, it reminds me of the alien movies, where it's like... It's been a while, but I know that they... Ripley. The corporation... Got Ripley to go out like several different times, and all of her misadventures could have been completely avoided if she had just stayed home. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help, and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Oh yeah, because this guy clearly not in any fit state. He's in a sitting position and everything. Jeez. Also, he's got a thing right there, and I can't get it because of the space glass, Adam. Yeah, the space glass. Indestructible, apparently. And inconvenient and so tantalizing. Alright. Oh, hey. Hey. Alright. Uh, how long have we been recording this one, Adam? Uh, just under 20 minutes. Eliminate lice before it spreads. Well, I'm going to go save again, because I'm that kind of person. And we'll go explore the hospital-y area. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. And Please come wait. back. There we go. We will explore the hospital next time on Skill Tree.
Yeah, on that channel that we have.